Hi guys, something really worrying about the Tories and their friends in the media is this attempt to copy and paste talking points and policies from the USA, the Republican Party in America in particular. The demonization of the poor and people on benefits have always been part and parcel of the Murdoch media and other right-wing outlets. But the scapegoating of the poor seems to come up when they're not blaming immigrants. Here Russell Quirk, a so-called property expert, thinks food stamps and banning people from smoking is the way to go. I do want to ban so I want to ban people on benefits from smoking. Okay. What? Spending their money on cigarettes <laughs> and scratch cards. Surely they haven't got enough money to buy cigarettes. Tattoos, right? No, but the point is they have. You're much more likely to be a smoker if you're on benefits, right. so the stats say. Right. So on the basis that it costs the British taxpayer now about three hundred billion pounds a year yeah. in benefits, right. that's doubled in the last five or six years. How on earth can it be right that people that are taking benefits to live and they're on the bare minimum, so they're supposed to be using yeah. the benefits for food and heating and so right. on, go out and start spending that money on things like tattoos, scratch cards, yeah. and smoking is wrong. It's our money. Yeah. Well, this it's is the thing. our money. They used to have a system in America where they gave people food stamps. Coupons. Yeah. So you could only yeah. actually use them to buy food. And do you know the incentive? But of course, the lefties won't have this. The lefties will go, oh, that's horrible. No, no, they'll, you I, can't I can, tell people what to do with their money. Right. No, I can imagine well, the comments now. Right. I can imagine the comments now. They're going to say, because they're stressed, they're smoking more because they're, they're, they're not working. But, but you know the answer? If you don't want to not be able to smoke and you're on benefits, don't be on benefits. Because at the moment, there's a million job vacancies, yeah. but 300,000 people still taking out-of-work benefits. Yeah. It's outrageous. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot on benefits, but some people do need to be some on people benefits, do. but not all. But not 22 but million people. They don't need people. to smoke, though. Just no, they don't no. need to smoke. No, I mean, he's not saying ban benefits. <laughs> he's only saying ban smoking. Ban smoking and right. scratch cards and yeah. tattoos. Oh, my goodness. Where do you even come... How do you respond to something like this? Okay, once again, this is all about the demonization of the poor, demonization of people on benefits. Okay, so the first question is, how the heck would you impose such a ban? A ban on scratch cars, a ban on smoking. Is it people on benefits would go into a shop and, and they'd be asked, are you on benefits? Yes, well, there's no cigarettes for sale for you. Are you on benefits? Well, I'm not going to sell you s scratch cards. It's insane. It's insane from a massive Jeremy Hunt. <sighs> Once again, how do you respond to this? This is part of the demonization, trying to convince people, the middle class generally, look, people on benefits are lazy. People on benefits are work shy. They don't want to, they don't want to work. Look, the, over 40% of people who are on benefits are in work. So are you going to punish them as well? Not all of their money that they, that they receive for working and as benefits goes to buy cigarettes. Part of it, like how are you going to determine who is allowed to buy cigarettes and he includes tattoos as well for some reason and it's our money it's everyone's money it's part of the social safety net like i don't know who this guy is but what happens if tomorrow he has an accident and he can't work and he loses his job and he loses his home and he needs to rely on benefits would he like some yahoo on a right-wing channel telling him what to do He'd be saying, well, look, I, pay, I paid into this service. I should be able to get something out. Would he like some idiot saying, no, 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 I'm going to decide, uh, who, who has no experience of his experience, saying, well, I'm going to tell you how to live your life. But this foc focus on people on benefits, it's disgraceful. There are multimillionaires and multibillionaires who are avoiding paying taxes, either illegally or legally. They're able to... Uh, evade taxation they're able to avoid any sort of scrutiny and this money if it was collected would dwarf any sort of benefit fraud or any amount of money that's that people are misusing if you want to use the term on benefits but the, once again this the focus has to be on immigrants or it has to be on the poor people on benefits we have to convince the ordinary person who's working or who's um who's middle class that these people are a problem and they need to be punished it's not about helping people now of course there are so many people who are on benefits who can't work what are you supposed to do there you're going to punish them as well and why should it be your concern that these people are smoking you could make an argument that nobody should be smoking because it's an, an extra cost for the NHS. But he's not asking for, like, I don't know what his motivation here is. Is it to save money? If it's about saving money, then surely he'd be, he'd be campaigning for the government to go after tax evaders, property developers, 
campaign. No, he's not campaigning for that, it seems. He wants to punish poor people. People who already have little or no money whatsoever. So he wants to punish them, but not the people who actually have lots of money. But then he's on the Concrete Farmers show, and the Concrete Farmers show is run by Rupert Murdoch's outlet. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.